Hello everyone, welcome to One Stop Academy English. In this lesson, I will use the text from the official Ministry of Transportation Drivers Handbook to help you with the reading practice, learn new vocabulary, and at the same time, learn about driving in Ontario. So this one lesson is going to serve many purposes. So what I'm going to do is I will read the text first, then I will explain that text to you in simpler words. And after that, I will explain the difficult words in that text. Today is the lesson number one, and I'm going to read introduction for you. You can choose between two things. Either you pause the video and read it for yourself, or you can listen to me. So let's start. Introduction. Ontario is a road safety leader in Canada and North America. The Ministry of Transportation has introduced a range of measures to maintain this record and to improve the behavior of all drivers. Most collisions are caused by driver error or behaviors such as following too closely, speeding, failure to yield the right of way, improper turns, running red lights, and frequently changing lanes. There are also drivers who intentionally put others at risk through such reckless behavior. Statistics show that new drivers of all ages are far more likely than experienced drivers to be involved in serious or fatal collisions. Provincial campaign promoting the correct use of seat belts and child car seats and informing people about drinking and driving and aggressive driving are making a difference. Ontario's graduated licensing system, GLS, which lets new drivers gain skills and experience in low risk environments is also helping to develop better, safer drivers. This handbook gives new drivers the basic information they need about learning to drive in Ontario, the rules of the road, safe driving practices, and how to get a license to drive a car, van, or small truck. The ministry recommends that all drivers would benefit from taking an advanced course in driver training. As you read, remember that this handbook is only a guide. For official descriptions of the laws, look in the Highway Traffic Act of Ontario and its regulations. Information on how to get licenses to drive other types of vehicles is available in part two of this handbook. The official and MTO Motorcycle Handbook, the Official MTO Truck Handbook, the Official MTO Bus Handbook, and the Official MTO Airbrake Handbook. Now, let me tell you in simple words what this text says. Basically, they are introducing the safe driving and the purpose of this driver's handbook. This driver handbook is about driving rules in Ontario and driving a car. In this paragraph, they are telling us that why a lot of accidents happen. And the main reasons they tell us is driving too fast, not giving other people the way, not turning the car properly, not stopping on the red lights or changing the lanes frequently or too often. So they're telling us that these things not only happen by mistake, but some people do it on purpose. But this can be dangerous because it can, be, it can result in a serious accident or it can also kill people. Now, they tell us about the steps they have taken to stop or to reduce these kind of accidents. So here they are telling us what they have done 
they are asking people to use seat belts, child car seats, and educate people about not drink and drive. So th because these kind of things have improved or reduce improved safe driving or reduce the accidents. In this paragraph, they are telling us that what this handbook is about. It is giving information to new drivers so that they can learn the basic rules. And in the last paragraph, they want us to know that this handbook is only a guide. It doesn't tell, about, tell you about the laws. If you want to know the laws, then you have to go and read Highway Traffic Act of Ontario and its regulations. This handbook is good enough if you are driving a car, but if you want to drive a motorcycle, then you should read official MTO motorcycle handbook. If you want to drive a truck, then you read official MTO truck handbook. If you want to drive a bus, then you read official MTO bus handbook. And if you want to know more about air brake, then you go and read official MTO air brake handbook. Now let's look into some words which you might find hard to understand. So starting from here, um, let's look into the word range. When we say range, are we talking about one thing or we are talking about many things? We are talking about many things. Are we talking about those many things which are in a certain order? Like, you know, they go from step one, two, three, four, or they're random. They, when we use the word range, we talk about many things which are in order. So what is meant by the measures here? Measures. Is it about taking an action? Yes. Is the action taken to achieve a certain purpose or a result or a goal? Yes. So when we talk about a range of measures, we can say that it is the steps which are taken to achieve certain purpose. Now, error. Is it a good thing? No. Is it something which is not right? Yes. It's a mistake. So when we say driver's error, it is driver's mistake. What are collisions? So when does the collision happen? When the collision happen, are two cars moving at that time or they are stopped? They're moving. Do they hit each other? Yes, they hit each other. So this collision is when two moving objects, and in this case, uh, case, cars or any vehicle collide or hit each other or one another, if it's more than two, and that hitting is damaging most of the time. So, or in simple words, you can say the accident as well. What is speeding? When we say speeding, is the car or any vehicle driving fast? Yes. Is it driving faster than it is allowed? Yes. Is it driving faster than it is safe? Yes. Failure to yield the way. Yield is giving.
frequently changing lanes? Frequently. Does it happen one time? No. Does it happen more than one time? Yes. Does it happen a lot of time? Yes. So frequently is when something is happening a lot of time. Intentionally. So when someone does something intentionally, does that person know what is happening? Yes. Does he have a control over it? Yes. Is he doing that on purpose? Yes. Reckless. Is it a good thing? No. Is the person careful here? Or is he caring about anything? No. Is he thinking properly? No. Is he bothered or does he care about the result of what he is doing? No. It's without thinking, without caring about the result of the action or the behavior in this case. Fatal. Is it a good thing? No. Is it dangerous? Yes. Will the person be alive after fatal collision? No. Does it result in death? Yes. Aggressive driving. What does aggressive mean? Is it fast? Yes. Is it full of energy? Yes. Does it follow all the laws? No. Is it good thing? No. So aggressive driving, a person might be driving too fast, not caring about the rules or the other people on the road. So let's look into some other words if there is something which might be difficult for some people. No, all the other words are pretty simple. If you found this lesson helpful, please let me know in the comment section. Or if there is a word in this text you don't understand, let, please let me know and I will explain that word by either answering your comment or by making another video. Please let me know how did you find this video. Your feedback is valuable. I really want to know if this lesson was helpful for you or not. If it was, then I will continue making um, videos like this. Otherwise, I will change in my method or my videos. Subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about English, uh, reading, vocabulary, pronunciation, listening, or speaking. Hope to see you again. Keep watching. Bye-bye.